Church History 101 uh, is, a, is a little book with a long story. Um, it is a survey of the first 20 centuries of the Christian Church. Obviously, it's a small book and so it doesn't tell you by any stretch of the imagination everything that you could learn. And it's really meant as an introduction. And it began life uh, when I was minister in Glasgow in 1999 and we were in the run-up to what most people thought was the turn of the millennium and I had begun to feel that there were many Christians who knew very little about the story, their family story, their family history um, and I was very conscious that that was true generally in the country that people knew almost nothing about history so I decided the last basically the last 20 uh, Sunday nights of 1999 that early on in our evening worship I would take five, seven, I think sometimes it probably stretched to ten minutes to talk about each of the Christian centuries. Actually one of the surprising things was I think I was maybe in the fourth century uh, when I realized people thought I was a genius that I knew all this which really confirmed to me that most of our members really didn't know very much about the story of the Christian church. Um, and we, we, finished, we finished at the end of the little talk, we would sing something from the century about which I had been speaking to try and kind of weave it into the fact that we belonged to 20 centuries of Christian worship. Um, we were in about the 8th or 9th century when one of the major British newspapers published the result of a poll they had taken um, asking people, who do you think the most significant man and the most significant woman of the past millennium would be? And the answers were most significant man, Nelson Mandela, and the most significant woman, Princess Diana. And whatever you thought about either of these two people, I think what it said was, our only knowledge of history is by watching the evening news. Um, and it really confirmed in me all the more that one of the things that should be distinctive about Christians is that they should know the sto their family story, they should know the history of the church, they should know more about the great things God had done in the past. And so um, the, those talks were on tapes, uh, tapes preceded CDs, preceded MP3s, so they belonged to 1999 and somehow or another they were unearthed and edited uh, by friends and uh, published a couple of years ago. Um, and it's kind of been amazing to me to see the response there has been because it's confirmed again to me that you need to help people make a start. You know, not everyone can take on eight volumes of the history of the church. But that little book is at least a start that I hope will prompt people to read more.